thank the gentleman from Salem, and I recognize the uh, gentlelady from Bowl. Well, thank you, Mr. Markey. Uh, it's great to be here, although a sad moment as well, because we are losing, uh, not truly losing, but no longer serving on a daily basis with two remarkable colleagues with whom it has been my privilege to serve uh, for five years. They're distinguished legislators, as we're hearing, but they're also great friends. Uh, Barney Frank has been a family friend for many years. In fact, my sister-in-law, Thalia Songa Schlesinger, was Barney's press secretary in his first, first race for Congress. And I was so proud to receive his support when I first sought this seat five years ago. He commented at the time that he was responsible for defeating the last woman who had served from Massachusetts, and he wanted to help elect the next woman who was seeking to serve from Massachusetts. It had been 25 years. And Barney, as we've heard, really has been a legend in everything he's done. I watched him from afar. I was quite young when he was working with Kevin White. Uh, we who he was, uh, because even at that young age, he was very colorful and very able uh, and recognized as being so extraordinarily bright and always witty as a state legislator as well. And here we see it and have heard about it over and over again. Soon after getting here five years ago, maybe a little year into it, you know, we struggled with the, the collapse of Wall Street. And I remember uh, thinking that we were so fortunate to have Barney Frank uh, in a place where his expertise, his commitment to learning uh, brought such great value to what we sought to do in order to stop the free fall while protecting American citizens and the American economy. And it really was a moment where one was reminded that as much as we talk about term limits, need to be reinvigorated and bring new people in, there is tremendous value in people who have been here a while, who have mastered the material, and who know quickly how to respond in an emergency, which that moment most certainly was. And it's, some, it's something I take with me, that we need to have a balance. But we were fortunate to have Barney Frank uh, in the position as chairman of financial services as he was at that moment. And we've heard and cannot rem and will never forget uh, the tremendous work he has done on civil rights and gender equality. Uh, I, I can't often think that as we come to, come to Washington and we seek to make a difference, uh, we're really like a little feather in a stream. Uh, we can make a little difference here and there, but Barney Frank has improved the lives of millions of Americans across this country uh, with his work on gender equality. And again, uh, I will never forget as the Employment Non-Discrimination Act passed this House uh, for the first time, did not go anywhere uh, in the Senate, but again, a remarkable testament to Barney's commitment and extraordinary personal courage uh, as he has fought for these issues for so many years. And I have to congratulate him on uh, falling in love with and marrying a gentleman from my district, Jim Reddy. Uh, it's been, been a wonderful thing, but I think the best thing of all was that he was, came from Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Now, now, this, now John's district. So, uh, and John Over, I think of John as the gentleman of the house. He's so thoughtful, so knowledgeable, so quiet, uh, so, but so committed. And um, I've been happy to inherit a certain part of his district, although I know that uh, his constituents there will miss him forever. And I think as an example of how generous a man he is, uh, how hard he worked as we made our way into these new communities, how hard he worked for me and Congressman McGovern uh, to make sure that we were introduced in a way that positioned us well uh, to move on and become representatives of those communities. So I'm happy to inherit them, but again, I know I have such big uh, shoes to fill. And I see it in particular in all his work. We, he has been the cardinal on on the transportation side of the Appropriations Committee, the tremendous work he's done to bring resources to uh, some communities that really will benefit from them. But it is not just about the resources. The Fitchburg rail line is not just about um, a, rail, a, a rail line. It is about the future of a community connecting central part of Massachusetts into the Boston area, improving the lives, the op economic opportunities of the people who live and work there. So again, 
a remarkable legislator who I know I will miss. And I went to an event that was hosted by his many, many staff members. He was beloved by his staff. And in uh, also attending were a number of people who over the years had made their way into John's office uh, to talk about some particular funding that they were seeking. And across the board, everyone said, how well prepared they had to be because invariably he knew more than they knew uh, and would have a question for them that they could not answer. I have to say I had the very same experience with him as I made my way uh, into his office. So remarkable legislators, people who have done so much good for our country, so much good for our commonwealth, um, who do so much for, uh, for those who wonder really uh, about the quality of those of us who serve here, I think we can only be proud, and they have only elevated the stature of this remote, most remarkable institution uh, and the, uh, that which we all seek, which, was, which is to be a member of Congress, do so in a way that is intelligent, with great integrity. None of us will have the wit, though, of Barney Frank. I thank the gentlelady. And I